Hi, prospective adult ballet students. My name is Rebecca, and this is one of my beginning students named Tatiana, and I'm, we're here today to talk to you about beginning ballet as an adult and what we'll be doing during the ballet workshop, which is going to be happening all summer here at Westside. So um, we're going to start with the basics. And I know some of you are very uh, intimidated by starting ballet as an adult because you think it's too late. And we're here to tell you it's not. So um, let's start with um, how a dancer stands, which would be something called placement. And basically what we're going to do with Tatiana, she has very good placement, is what, and this happens to a lot of people, especially in this day and age with phones, computers, and whatnot, is you pull your head too far forward, and it's a pretty heavy thing to pull forward. So we want your ears right over your shoulders. And then from there, we want a straight line to begin ears, shoulders, hips, side of the knee, ankle. And inclusive in that is the fact that she's in the midsection of her foot. So she takes that straight line, and she shifts the entire picture slightly forward so that she can be in the middle of the foot. So that's basic placement from the side. From the front, we sort of assume you've already got it. So if you can see that the body is pretty symmetrical, two eyes, two shoulders, two hips, and then just draw a straight line through the belly button and in through the two feet, you've got placement from the side and both the front, and that's what we want. So most everyone's going to be pretty easy with that. Probably the only thing is going to be to pull the head back, usually. Occasionally, people have something called lordosis or Kyphosis, thank you. So the one, thank you, she's, <laughs> she's helping me. So what we want to do is make a long back, but give that natural curvature that the spine has because it helps you come down from jumps. She's got that, very nice. Um, so the second part of this is pull up. Let's go to the front, right. So pull up happens all the way up the front of the body. So let's say she's in what we call first position heels together, and we'll talk about rotation a little later, but the first thing you want to do as a, a dancer is solidify or lock in all of your joints, and we're going to start with the knees. So we're going to pull up through the quads so that knees are not only regular straight, but they're actually pulled up by using these muscles. So we have the quads pulling up, and then we come up to the hip joint. So all the joints are have to, have to stabilize, so we're gonna, what we're going to do here is we're going to push her hips little tiny, no, with that, not without bending the knee, but pulling up through the hip. So we have a nice flat ligament right here. And in the back, she's going to squeeze. So let's go to the side. So she's going to squeeze her um, glutes and at the bottom of her glutes specifically to pull this nice and straight. And her hips are now straight up. And you can see that her hip bone is lifted. And that's a really important part of this because your center is right here. Especially women are a little higher, I'm sorry, a little lower than men. So we're about there as her center of gravity. So then we keep pulling up through the front. So she's lifting her abs forward, and she's then going to close up and lift. So breathe in and breathe out, <gasps> and out, breathe out, and then pull up through the front, closing the ribs, all right? She goes all the way up. Once she gets to the shoulders, though, it's going to change. So it's going to be pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and then right here, we're going to push, start to push down. Now, we don't want to push her shoulders down into her lower back, so that's why she's going to keep that lift in the front. And Tatiana, you started like six months ago, didn't you? She's like... Not even. Not even. So it's really a, um, great that she's already here. So she's closing her shoulder blades in the back. Very good. So do that again. So it's open. That's not what we want. And she closes them. Very good. And she doesn't want to go too far back because then she loses that side placement. So she wants them squeezing together, the ribs squeezing together. But now, as she's pushed her shoulders down, she's got this nice long neck, very nice, and she starts to lengthen in the back. So she's pushing down, lengthening especially right here. Good. And she lengthens all the way down the, the body. So she's pulling up. One more time. She's, in general, if you want to think about it, you're pulling up through the front. This is in general, you, I just went through the specifics, but down the back, and that keeps her shoulders nice and down. With one exception, she's going to pull up through the middle of the top of her head. Right, very good. All right, so that's her placement. Now, you probably are asking yourself, can she move? 
Yes, she can move, but it's a lot of things to think about. That's why we start as a basic student, right? And that's how she started. Now, she's still in rotation. Go back to parallel, Tatiana. All right, and then open up into your first. All right, slide both at the same time. Try again. Aha, uh -huh. and open, right. So that's her ability to turn out right now. I don't like to move students too far out to the side because they can hurt themselves. So when she bends, bend your knees, you can see that her knees, can you see that her knees are right over her toes? Come back up. That's the turnout I want from every basic student. And that's how you stay, from, um, stay okay from not hurting your knees. So eventually she might get more rotation depending on her hip socket, but we don't care because unless she's going to get into ABT pretty soon, we're fine with whatever she has. So there she is in first. Her rotation happens from here. So even though it looks like it's happening from her ankle, the actuality is it's all the way up here at the hip because when she bends her knees, could you do that one more time? Good. She, right, she has a nice open situation in the front of the thighs. And when she comes back up, she keeps opening, 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 opening until she's straight. So the rotation happens from the hip. The pull-up is the whole body, and what we're trying to get at, along with the placement, is that this is core exercise work, almost all of it, yeah? So that's the first thing you must realize about a basic, a basic class. Thank you. Hi, we're back. This is section two, and we're going to talk about arm positions, um, connection to the shoulders, and then we're going to go to the bar and start um, working with the bar. So. Again, with Tatiana, what we're going to do is we're going to create this round kind of flatness to the side. So when you're a dancer, you're going to learn that you're wide, okay, especially from the shoulders, because here's a joint right here that ballerinas really don't use. So we're going to open up and be nice and flat, if you can see that, right through the top of her chest. And then she's going to bring her shoulders down, but bring her arms up like a seesaw, push down, and that floats the arms up, correct. So if you can look over here, the slope starts at the base of her neck. You can hardly see that she has shoulders because her elbow is kind of lifted. So there is a slight slope, but it goes from the elbow down to the wrist. And then in the hand, we've got her touching, like holding a small tennis ball. That's sort of the feeling there. Right. Good. So she doesn't want to look tense or stiff. Whoops. So that's an interesting thing. So she rotated up, but what happened was her shoulder went up. So it's a, it's a hard position to learn to push the shoulder down, lift the elbow up, and you've got a slight curve if you can hold that and show to the side. So arms never, ever go behind the person's body, except for one exception, which we may show later. But right now, they are all curved, every position, except for arabesque, which we may or may not show. So. Um, from there, Tatiana, if you would bring your f arms to first position, right, and come back to the front, pull your shoulders back, good. And then she's going to come down just a little bit so the audience, in this case, you guys, can see that there's a circle there, or an oval is a better description. But still, in the back, her shoulder blades, let's turn you around, Miss Model, <laughs> she squeezes together, all right, and becomes... So they're really locked down on her back. And it's very important to work all of your limbs from your center, and in this case for the arms, the back. And you'll notice that she doesn't even arch her back, which is really important. So she's still nice and long from the top. So arms open to second. And she steps towards, I forget which side we were going to do. We're going to go over here. All right, so we're going to go over here to the bar. Now, this is arms in second. Basically what she does is she can be at the bar in second. So she doesn't want to get too close. Watch. This is what is the tendency. Oh, there goes her second position that's bent. So she wants to still be in second. So she can put the, the ball of her hand or the palm of her hand on the bar. She cannot grab the bar with every finger she's got. She can use these to push down the first four, the four fingers. She can push down. She can pull, but she can't, and she can push. And that's it. The thumb really is not used at the bar. Now, having said that, everybody does this. I've bent wedding rings doing this. But <laughs> the, uh, 
The other thing is, is never let your hand go behind you. Always make sure it's in front of you. So this is how we work at the bar. Now let's say she does something that steps forward. She has to slide her hand with her. So it doesn't stay where it was and she worked do it incorrectly. So yeah, she can't do that. And she can't step forward and leave her hand behind. So every time the body moves, the hand moves in relationship to this, all right, this second position. And eventually, as we get better at it, we can actually work the outside arm as if we were in center. But for now, we're going to leave it in second position. All right, so let's talk about the five positions in ballet and what beginners do. So we'll start with your first. Open out like it we did in turn out. Slide. Very good. Bend your knees just to check and make sure you're over your toes. Awesome. This is considered first position. Come on up. Very nice. To change any position or any step at the bar, you must pretend you're dancing. So to change the second, she's going to have to point on, do the outside leg and the inside leg. Why? Because look at her. She's grasping for that bar. Now her center is still in the right place to be working at the bar. Her second should be heels about the, the width of her hips. Very good. Nice. Can you still bring your knees over your toes? So if it's not right and it's too turned out, it'll roll forward. So we want her arches to be up. Thank you. And her in inner thighs moving forward. Right. So a turnout isn't just about the feet. It goes all the way up, rotation from the hip. Very nice. And that way we protect your knees. Very good. So her, she's got arches that are lifted on both sides, and she's in the right place on her foot. So let's go from here to um, fourth. We'll change and do an open fourth. So Tan, do the outside foot front good. Line up your heels. So beginning fourth would be a lined up fourth where the heels line up. And her, it's one length of her feet. So that's almost perfect for me. I don't know about what shoe size she is, but that's pretty good. She's got to shift the center of her weight or her hips in between those two feet. So that's very good. So we skipped third, so let's do that now. So she's going to tendu front and bring her heel into the arch of the back foot. At, when she's doing that, she crosses her calf muscles. So this is considered third, right? Are you OK? Still here? Still breathing? So we have an op what's called open fourth when the lined up of, uh, the lineup of the heels is in one straight line. Third is heel into the arch, the back foot. And then fifth, which happens later as you get better acquainted with your own turnout, you're going to cross the, the thighs and the calf muscles now. And your heel will be, can you open up a little bit and show? So she's got the heel in fifth is a little bit further over. Awesome. So you can barely see the toe in the back. So that's as you, and you can see that her, now her thighs are crossed. Look at that. See that flatness in her thigh in the front? That's really important. That tells me that she's pulling up and rotating from the hip and not from the ankles or the knees. Very good. Yeah? All right. That's section two. Now you're ready to dance, of course, ha having had all the clothing. All right. <laughs> the next and the last section to prepare you for the basic class is working in, in the positions in demi-plié, grand-plié, and maybe we'll be able to do a tendu or two. So with her right hand on the bar, we're going to start in first. And I hope you can see it from this position. So demi-pliés, meaning small, are exactly what you, what you think they are. They're demi-pliés where you go as far down as you can, keeping your heel on the floor. So she's going to go down, down, down. You need a, a, a demi-plie is probably the most important thing to work on in ballet. So, and she's got a nice one. It's not too short and it's not too long. So here she goes. She's going to go down till her Achilles tendons say, you can't go anymore or my heels will come up, all right? So then she comes back up, squeezing their thighs together as she comes back up. So this is a stretch. Go on down. That's stretching. And on your way up, you're squeezing your inner thighs together, right? Gaining strength from this. So this is a first position demi-plié. So let's change it to second. And in second, it would be the same, except for that Achilles tendon problem is going to go away because of the width of the position. So she's just going to do a small bend. Go ahead. And about the same amount. Very good. And come back up. Now, you'll notice as you start moving, all of those things that I told you about placement and pull-up, 
they start to go away because you're thinking about other things. In fact, I want you to try to um, combine elements while you're working. So one more time. Bend, yes, and come back up. Beautiful. Bring your arm to second. Point on to the outside foot to fourth front. Now she's going to adjust her position because she doesn't want to get too close to the bar. Over with this one too. Awesome. Beautiful fourth, right? She's got her hand in front of her. She's demi plie, watch your knees be over your toes, especially this back leg. It's going to want to roll forward. So we do not like that. It hurts our hips. And you're going to keep your hips nice and perpendicular to the bar. Straighten. And she's already got that technique going for her where she stretches on her way down and she squeezes on her way up. Very nice. Point tendu. And she's going to go into third because she's just starting. And she's going to demi plie, opening those knees, stretching the Achilles, and then squeezing up. And if you'll notice, she tries to keep her placement so she doesn't s stick out in the back like some people I know. Yes, but not Tatiana. And bend. Good. So this is a very important position. Why would you think? Come up for jumping, right? So we need to really cultivate this. So that's every position. Let's go back to first. We also do grand plies. Grand meaning big, and what happens is you go through the demi plie, if you would please go through the demi, and then now when we have to pick our heels up, we do, very good, and then we push them back into the floor, and then straighten the knees after, very good, one more time. She's got, now the really hard part I can tell you right now is her trying to hold her back nice and straight as she does the, uh, the grand plie in first, very nice. Just to give you an, uh, a change or a, a Opposition to what that is, tendu to second. Very good. Now she's going to do a grand plie in second. And this is the exception to the rule. First, fourth, third, and fifth all have the heels coming off, but not second. So to do the grand plie in second, she still has to hold that back and do grand plie knees over the toes. When she hits the bottom, which can be no long, uh, yeah, keep your whole la la la, and come back up. So you can't go any deeper than her hips to as low as her knees. So this is about as low as any grand, pl grand plie in second can be. So try one more time. When she feels she's going to lean forward, which is right there, she stops. Very good. And she comes back up. So grand plies are also done in fourth and in third and fifth. But you get the idea. I think we're pretty good with that. So that always starts a ballet class with the bar. So we'll go back to first. And we're going to start talking about tendu. So you think that ballerinas have good feet and nice legs for unknown reasons, but <laughs> it's actually for known reasons. So tendus are actually coming from the hip. They don't just work the feet and the ankles. So we're going to demonstrate that now. So let's tendu to the front. So what she's going to do is brush, and she's going to tendu with her heel up. So she has very nice feet. Beautiful. Most people do, actually. So you see how her heel's slightly up? You may not notice it, but it is. She doesn't lean on her toe. Good. So it's just a gesture. It's not something that you put weight into. And then as she comes back, she's going to pull her little toe back and bring herself to first. Whoops, she did a little bit of a rond de jambe, so we don't want that. We want it straight ahead. So push with the heel. Whoops. Come back one more time. P push with the heel. This is why this is a good starter, is you want to push forward with the heel. To come back, you want to push the little toe leading you back. So one more time for that. Brush and ball, heel, toe back. Very nice. We'll do it to the front. We do it to the side. We do it to the back. Try it to the side, Tatiana. So ball. So she's going to, she doesn't put, she pushes the heel first, and then she points the toes. And the same thing, if you'll notice, her second is not directly side of her. It's forward because... That's the way the position of our hips is. Our, they're slightly forward. So as she comes back, she's going to resist the floor and squeeze her thighs back to first. So she's always working her entire leg, not just her feet. To the back, we have a little bit of a different problem because we're going to go back with the bi this big toe first till she hits the tendu. Very nice line, beautiful line. Very nice line. And then as she comes back, she's going to push the heel in first. Now, do it again without twerking the, uh, twerking. Um, <laughs> twerking the hips. Toe back. All right, so what she just did is she let go of her turn, turn out, and then she, she got it back. So let's try that again. Let's see if you can do it keeping the turn out all the way 
as you go to the back go. Oops. Not, did you feel it that time? Yeah. So the big thing about ballet is to be able to feel that what you're doing. And that's my job, is to show you how to fix her problems. So um, anyway, that takes care of tendus, demi-plies, grand plies. And that's enough to get you started before you, take, you come to class and visit us. All right, thank you. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>